Hello everyone, Amanda Johnson here. I'm really excited for today's video because I have some brand new technology to show you that we now offer on our mechanical shears. With me today, I have the Tensmith LM1014 mechanical shear. It has a go-to back gauge. But this video, I'm specifically going to show you the brand new controller. The controller is the Synergy control system that's the same controller we offer on all of our powered folders, both the Tensmith and Roper Whitney brands. The real game changer here is now with the Construct package, you can connect both your shear and auto brake to the software and send your jobs directly to the machines. The Synergy control system is incredibly user-friendly, designed to make your workflow easier, faster, and therefore more efficient. One thing I really like about the interface is that it's very straightforward and all the operations are clearly labeled. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to make a single cut. So here we have the single cut operation. And here is the back gauge distance. We're going to set it to the length we want to cut our material to. So let's do 12 inches. And here's going to be the number of cuts. Let's do three cuts. Once I hit start, the back gauge is going to automatically go into the perfect position. OK, waiting for cutter commands. Now we are ready to cut. Can hit the foot pedal. And here's the counter, it keeps track of all of our cuts there. There's two different libraries. You have your material library and your program library. First, we're gonna go into the material library, materials. And here you can keep a library of all your different materials you use. Let's make a new one. Name it anything you would like. If you have a specific material that you work with, you can name it that. I'm going to go ahead and do 24 gauge. Then you have to enter in the thickness, 0 0.024. Oops. OK. If you want to, you can also add in the cost per foot of that material. Down here is the color list. Let's add the color. You can name the color. Let's do blue. Here's the value. OK. And you can add another color if you want if you have multiple colors of the same material. Okay, now you have your colors in there. Now let's make a program. Now here's the programs library. You can keep track of all your different programs in here. You can keep them in folders. Let's make a new one. Okay, let's do job three. Okay, and here's all the different programs here. First thing you have to do is pick your material. Let's do the 24 gauge. Now you can pick all the different steps or jobs. Let's do three. So a lot like the single operation mode, you have to set your back gauge distance. Let's do 28 inches, two cuts. And then last one, let's do five inches and three cuts. Now you can easily move this around. Let's say we want to move this step up or we can move it down. We can also easily delete this one. And then once I hit start, the back edge will automatically go into its position. Then we're ready to cut. When it was finished with the first step, it automatically went to the next program and the back gauge is already in position. And there it goes again. Okay, now let's go back into the program library. So let's say I want to add these different programs into job three or that folder. We can hold and press to highlight them. Now they're selected. Go to the clipboard, we can copy those. Let's open up job three. 
and you can paste those right in there. There is automatic mode or continuous stroke. This is good for really quick cuts or a lot of cuts that you need to make. Another thing you can do is you can manually control the shears movements. So manual mode. You can move the bat gauge manually. You can also move the cutter head up and down and the table up and down right here. Thank you for joining me in this video today. If you have any questions or if you're interested in a mechanical shear with a brand new controller, please reach out to us or visit our website at tensmith.com.